George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. upon a midnight jungle <coughs> while George snored through tooth and tongue. <coughs> Ape was far too scared for napping when suddenly there came a tapping. <coughs> George! 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 I didn't do it! I didn't do it! No! <coughs> That rhino is eating Shep's food. That's not Shep's. That's George's bag of Chunka Munch. Bad rhino. <laughs> you want food? You go get your own. Get out. Uh uh. Too late for puffy eyes. <laughs> What's with George? Last night he had to get tough with a rhino. I think it bothered him. Oh, George was too tough on him. He was just being a hungry widow rhino. Oh, please. That rhino got just what he deserved. George? George! Rhino! Rhino! <gasps> ah! Rhino, talk to me. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? You wait right here! George is sorry! Here! Eat! Eat! <laughs> George, are you sure that's the same rhino? George will never forget that sad look in what used to be his eyes! <laughs> uh... Why don't we take him to my diet and see if he can do something uh, witch doctory? <gasps> you hear that, little buddy? George gonna fix you up. <laughs> Even if we can bring these bones back to life, I mean, should we? It's tampering with the laws of nature. Stop! Oh, Here you go, Riney. <gasps> Back away from the patient. It is hard enough to try and speed read the forbidden scroll of forbidden knowledge. Mutter, 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 mutter. Hmm, what's this? Huh? Mm, that's lightning in a bottle. Very hard to catch. Ooh, how's it taste? <laughs> George! <laughs> oh, no, George! <laughs> Get them all in us! 
here you go. Okay, G just that one. Okay, here you go. <laughs> 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 Jeb's out of food again. Hey, Shep, have you seen Frankie anywhere? <laughs> Ow! Doesn't ancient forbidden practice mean anything to kids today? But, Daddy, all the other witch doctor's kids get to bring dead corpses back to life? I have told you, zombies are a scientific impossibility. I don't know what you're all worried about. Forbidden sunscreen. Oh, here we go. Forbidden zombies. Boogity, boogity. Hey, it's forbidden. You mind? Look, I'm sure George has this whole thing under control, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Taken care of. <laughs> what the? You girls hide. I'm gonna follow George to see what he's after. What is it, George? <laughs> Okay, that's just plain. What's taking him so long? I think we'll be safe in here. a zombie to eat these. Ooh, company! I'll get the door! Oh, yeah. oh don't worry. It's just Tucky. Zombie to like that stuff. Hey, 
big, lightning in a bottle. <sighs> okay, George, this is gonna hurt you more than it hurts, uh, well, pretty much anyone. But remember, you started this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, sure. George is fine. Oh, it's nice to have you back. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal. <laughs> Quick, George! The trunk a bunch! Uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> The jungle at night is a vast, dark, scary place. The invisible spiders above. <gasps> Where? The undetectable serpents below. Ooh. And in the middle, the possibility of stepping in something. You don't know what it is. Oh, great. And on the third night, he heard the ghostly knocking again. But as he reached for the door handle... I can't take it! It stopped. Uh, but then on the fourth night... Not the fourth night. The moon was full and the wind was howling. <laughs> Again he heard the knocking. He reached for the door handle. He got closer. Um. Ursula, can I talk to you? Oh, this is Ben! I didn't know you were gonna tell scary stories. Ooh, this is a good one, too. But George can't handle it. Normally, nothing scares him, but a scary story is something he's really afraid of, and it makes him impossible to live with. Well, uh, no drinkable blood in here. <laughs> no, no, sir. Please, for the sake of my sanity, change the ending to something unscary. <laughs> then what happened? No, don't tell me. Please tell me. No, don't. Wait. George just has to get a flashlight, a baseball bat, a diaper, a bullet to bite on, and another s'more. <laughs> okay. He opened the door. Yeah. And behind the door. Yeah. Standing there was... 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 Uh, <gasps> That's right. Behind the door, there was nothing at all. The end. <laughs> Funny, huh? And not scary. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> Good thing I don't enjoy sleeping. I better get ready for the pot banging and the head sitting and the. Huh? Who are you? Mr. Jungle's head of security. What's your business in the treehouse, sir? I live here. Just a sec. What? It's Eddie. I got an ape down here. Name? Ape. Says his name's Ape. Says he lives here. Is he scary? No, I wouldn't say scary exactly, more furry. George, let me in. Here's that ape. He pulls anything, let me know, and I'll be back up here with the boys. Or he can blink an eye. George, it's me. Prove it. What color are our dishes? Filthy food color with globs of spaghetti. Oh, you're good. What poster does George have hanging over his hammock? A framed enlargement of the cover of Mantler Comics, issue one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, George just changed it. What number am I thinking of? How am I supposed to know that? Quit stalling! Five. You always think of five. <gasps> All right, last question. What's behind you? Nothing. Oops. <laughs> Nothing! Ape? Oh. Why are you sleeping out here? Remember that thing I said about George becoming impossible to live with? He's too afraid to let me in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs>
What's he afraid of? Nothing. <laughs> then what's his problem? No, he's literally afraid of nothing, and there's nothing everywhere. Oh, that's ridiculous. Tell George I think he's being ridiculous. I'm sure that'll help. Hi. Hi. Two pieces of ID, please. Ow! I'll need this for DNA testing. Ain't see anything outside? No, nothing. I mean... George knew it. Nothing's out there. Fighting for me. George, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's what I've been saying! Look, just because Ursula's story ended with that word, there's no reason to be afraid of that word. Go to sleep. Not until Ape checks the closet. <laughs> what does Ape see? A large hungry monster wearing a bib holding a knife and fork. Oh! Oh, well, better than nothing. Well, Good night. <laughs> George, I'm gonna be outside doing some gardening. Oh. George, what's this in my gloves? Oh, uh, there was nothing inside them, so I filled them with gravy. Uh, at least it's something, huh? George, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Now our bathroom is a steel safety chamber. If anything goes wrong, just pull the evacuation switch. Isn't this a bit extreme? No, it's waterproof and fireproof. Nothing can get in and nothing can get out. <gasps> nothing can get out! Normally, George isn't afraid of anything. But now, because of that story, he's completely afraid of nothing. I've got an idea. I tell him the story again, but change the nothing at the door to something so ridiculous George would never see it. What? I know stuff. Okay, it has to be something that George will never find in the jungle in a million years. How's about something from one of them stupid gift catalogs? Like a, a jewel-encrusted breast pickle. It's just something I've always kind of wanted. I checked the perimeter, boss. There's no nothing anywhere. Hey! Jewel-encrusted brass pickle. Ha! Well, that'd be a great thing to have. I've never seen one in the jungle. Georgia of the jungle. Big tree house, middle of jungle. Tookie Tookie! Tookie Tookie! Good Tookie. Uh, deliver this for George. Bot! Suspicious Harry biped at six o'clock. George, glad I caught you. That story of Ursula's the other night? Well, she got the ending wrong. But if nothing wasn't behind the door, then <gasps> where was it? She's going to tell it again with the right ending tonight. <sighs> Back off, Weasel. And he opened the door, and behind it was... A jewel-encrusted brass pickle! Pickle! That's impossible! Aw, come on. You can't be afraid now. What are the chances a jewel-encrusted pickle would show up in the jungle? <laughs> George, mail. Ooh, the new 80 cent banana stand. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, George. There's a. George? If that's a brass jewel encrusted pickle, George's not here. George, you can't hide in there forever. <laughs> that's what she thinks. Can opener. Check. Flashlight. Batteries. self inflating getaway boat. Check, check, and check. <laughs> I've got an idea. How about I just tell George the truth? 
For some reason, that scares me more than the pickle. The truth about the campfire story. No twist, no spin. Maybe if George hears how silly the real ending is, he'll get over this for good. Eight pair of socks, two thermal. George? Yes? I have a confession. I made up those endings because Ape told me to. Don't drag me into this. Well, you did. I'm gonna tell you what's really behind the door in the story. Not a pickle? No, and it's not nothing. Not a pickle holding nothing? Nope. You're gonna laugh. It's so out there. So the guy opens the door and standing outside... Yeah? ...is a vampire zombie weasel. Zombie weasel near the funny thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Two pairs of whack fangs in case we're here till Halloween.